Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the Art House. I wanted to provide a quick update about what's going on with Sorcery Con Las Vegas 2024. So this is an event that's going to happen November 1st through 3rd. It's coming up in, uh, what, about a few months now? Um, so it's really important to get the word out, spread the word to community, try to get ticket sales sold so we can organize and plan the activities. I recently joined the planning committee team and I am personally focused on the art aspect of things, trying to secure as many artists as possible. We've had some great early success. We recently announced Elvira Shakarova, Truett Parrish, Liz Danforth, Jeff Menges, Brian Smith, and Margaret Organ Keen. So six total artists. And we're just getting started. I hope there are a few more that I'm talking to and I'm trying to get confirmed. Um, and I hope to announce those soon. But having six artists is really a tremendously exciting opportunity for the artists to meet the fans and for the fans to come out and meet some of your favorite artists who were really influential in the Alpha debut. Meeting the artists of the game is really a tremendous opportunity. It really makes the project feel very special uh, for players to connect with the artists that did the artwork on their cards, for art enthusiasts, of course, to meet uh, the artist, ha talk with them, all fans of all different interest categories, meet the artist, get your card signed, uh, hang out you know, in a social setting, a lot of fun. So um, one of the things I'm trying to do is do some fundraising activities to raise funds to support the artist's travel. So kind of a catch-22 situation, we are committed to providing as much funding as we can to the artist to support their airfare and hotel accommodations, um, some of their financial needs to incentivize them to come out to the show. Um, so with uh, the success, you know, we have six artists. I really would like to get a few more and ensure that budget is not a limiting factor. That's kind of been my goal from the get-go. Um, so I want to make sure, independent of ticket sales, you know, a lot of the artists travel and accommodations will be funded by ticket sales. Um, but I also want to do other things just to ensure we can cons compensate them as well as we can and really get as many artists to come as we possibly can to make this one of the greatest sorcery experiences we have seen to date. Um, so six is the start, hopefully we'll have a few more. Um, what I wanted to share is a couple of different activities. I'm gonna go to the overhead camera here and give you an update in addition to the artist list that we just went through. Um, I wanted to share an exciting update on the first fundraising effort and where we're at with additional funds to try to get additional artists to come out and see you. So recently I had the great honor um, to connect with a very generous member of the community. As a, uh, some of you guys might know that I was one of the top Kickstarter backers, one of the four Avatar of the Realm Kickstarter backers. And part of that pledge tier came with one of the original paintings of the elemental avatars. And I reached out to Severin Pinu, the artist of the avatars, very early on. And I found out that she had already sold the, the detailed sketches that she did for those four pieces. Um, so recently, I was very fortunate that someone in the community reached out to me. They told me they had these pieces available. Um, and he wanted to sell a different painting, a couple paintings, actually, which I have uh, since offered through the auctions at the Sorcery Community Facebook group and Collector Art House Discord. But he told me he had the original sketches and I asked him if there would be any way he would part with them. And his, this person is, is super generous. Um, we did reach an agreement and as part of that agreement, he agreed to donate $1,000 to the Artist Fund, which is tremendously helpful. It's really gonna help with the additional costs of some of the international artists that are trying to get to come to the show. Um, Elvira was the first that was confirmed. I'm hoping that maybe one or two more can come. Um, but, you know, stay tuned uh, for more information on that. Um, so $1,000 from these sketches, which I wanted to share with the community as a very fun and interesting piece of history. Of course, upside down. <laughs> so let's give it a spin. The first is the beautiful Avatar of Fire. And of course, the Avatar of Fire is the one that I ended up with in the pledge tier. And I ended up recently having the opportunity to acquire my personal favorite of the four, the Avatar of Fire. So I ended up uh, having to give up the Avatar of Fire, excuse me, and I got the Avatar of Air, which is the one that I always dreamed of owning. I was finally able to get that. But here we have the original sketch. And you see on the Beta Curio cards, one difference you'll notice here is that these sketches are a little more detailed than you see on the Sketch Curios. 
And the reason for that in talking to Severin is that when she sold these, she, she knew that the person that acquired them, again, the person that made this very generous donation for the Vegas uh, event, um, was an avid collector and she wanted him to have something very special and memorable and displayable. So she put a little extra effort and energy into refining these sketches. So you see they're a little more full and detailed and uh, robust in um, the sketch detail. So really gorgeous Avatar of Fire, that is the first. The Avatar of Air, as I just mentioned, beautiful in the full oil on canvas finished painting product. This is a beautiful, beautiful scene. I'm really partial to the light blues and the deep blues you see kind of on the borders on the finished piece of this and the very colorful butterflies and birds that you see in this one. So you have the Avatar of Air, the Avatar of Earth, which was the first one selected by the first person to grab one of the Avatar tears and the Kickstarter pledge. The Avatar of Earth is in Severn's vision, the matriarch of the four avatars. So there is Earth with the ground kind of resemblance. Each of these avatars really blends the elements of humanity and nature. So you see the, the avatar of Earth built into the ground. It really is more pronounced in the final painted piece. And then lastly, the avatar of water. This was the second selected. So it was first Earth, then water, then um air and then fire is the one that i ended up with so that those are the four sketches um fun thing to share there so again one thousand dollars as part of that transaction is going to go directly as a donation to the artist fund so thank you very much that community member i don't know if he wants to be named or not i might have him actually on the show at some point um as a great collector of art in sorcery and beyond the game um, I thought it'd be fun to have him come on. But the next thing I wanted to do and announce here is that I am going to auction this great beta curio card. And I think this is one of the more popular and desirable cards. The top tier, I think a lot of folks think is in terms of the beta curios would be the, the sketch elemental avatars like I just showed, but the actual beta curio cards. And of course, the, um, the step curio that shows the, the crusade and jihad and a few others, you know, there's a lot of great curios and beta, but what was really fun is these holographic cards. And there's an interesting story on this one. This one is a painting done by Elvira Shakarova. And again, Elvira is one of the artists that'll be coming to the Sorcery Con Vegas event. And she did two versions of this Guile Sirens. So uh, what Elvira talked about when I interviewed her, viewed her on the channel, you guys can go find that in the live section, is that she would often do three or four thumbnail sketches and present those to Eric, uh, the game creator and art director essentially of the project. And he would select his favorite of the bunch. And this was one that um, I think he was partial to, uh, but she wasn't entirely pleased with. So she ended up redoing this and a different version um, ended up going into the, the regular mainstream core alpha box product, right? A different version of the Guile Sirens. This was the one that she was not thrilled with. She's still not happy with it. It's kind of a funny story because Eric uh, loved it. And of course the community loves it too. And he decided he decided to use this as one of the, um, either the box topper or the pledge packs. It was like a promo card essentially um, that was included. And on that card, it was non-foil and then it had the regular spell book uh, back to it. And then um, in the mainstream core set, it was the, the other artwork that was selected, right? So this was the alternate artwork that still made it into the game, much to her chagrin, right? But um, it's a beautiful card. And then again, he doubled down and surprised us in beta where it, with the first uh, holographic or foil um, curio cards, right? So typically the foil cards are foil on the face of the card. And then on the back, you would have the full art, but on the back, you had the regular uh, spell book back, right? So we quickly realized that this was a special card in beta and that it was indeed a curio. So there you have it, the Guile Sirens. This is a card in beautiful condition. I, I think there's been several sales of these around the $800 to $1,000 mark uh, roughly range. So this should raise a substantial, um, pretty good sum of money that will really help um, the artists come to the event and for you guys to be able to meet these artists. So I'm going to donate, I'm going to auction this card and 100% of the proceeds will go to support the artist to come out to the event, right? So that should help us uh, hopefully fully, um, you know, compensate the, the artists that we have and or grow that list 
of additional artists that are kind of on the bubble and are trying to incentivize to come out. So look for that on the Sorcery Contested Realm Community Facebook group page and the Collector Art House Discord. Um, it'll be the typical auction process mirrored in both locations. So if you're not on Facebook or you're not on Discord, you can you can bid on one or the other or just reach out to me. You could always submit a private bid as well. It'll come up sometime this week. We'll run it for a few days and um, hopefully it does well. Um, I, it's very rare that I sell any of my own cards. I think, in fact, this might be my first ever sale, I think, of a sorcery item. I'm typically a collector and a hoarder. I have a, I have a great collection that I'm very proud of and, and excited about. So it's hard to let anything go. <laughs> and these curios are incredibly rare. I think there's probably roughly 25 or so of these uh, have been discovered that we know of. So some people speculate the population of curios might be on the order of 50. Um, I personally think it might be 75 to 100, but in any case, they're incredibly rare. Um, not all boxes obviously get open. Some people keep them sealed. So it's not likely there's going to be a lot of these out in the wild. So it's a real special opportunity to both own a very special card in the early beginnings of the game and um, be part of sponsoring, essentially, through this charitable donation, artists to come and hopefully you'll be able to come and meet them in person. Please secure your tickets as soon as possible. It really helps us budget for all the activities and events that we're trying to host. And um, please join the Sorcery Contested Realm Community Facebook group, the Collector Art House Discord. The links are always in the description of these videos. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And pre please spread the word to the community of this opportunity because it's a real great way to support the wonderful artists of sorcery. And um, your efforts are greatly appreciated. It's really going to enhance the experience for a lot of people at Sorcery Con, Con Las Vegas, November 1st through 3rd. I hope to meet a lot of you guys there. I will be there. I'm super excited. I can't wait. This is going to be one of the greatest events in sorcery history for sure. So thank you guys very much. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.